All right, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports PGA Tour. Um, it looks like the menu colors have changed. <laughs> I don't know why, or maybe that's just my monitor. I think that's just my monitor. For some reason, the colors are a little bit weird. Because on OBS, what you guys are seeing, it's very, it's all normal. Strange. Um, but anyway, we're doing career. Um, we're going to go ahead and... Why did I? Oh, only one or four? Weird. You can't even do a quick round? That's weird. So we're going to do a four rounder on the players. So we've got four to seven mile prior wins and everything on tournaments, so. And this is the one win we need. It is golf's unofficial fifth major. It is the home of the PGA Tour. It is 18 of the most diabolical holes ever strung together. It is visually intimidating. It is narrow fairways. It is water at every turn. But for the player who outlasts all others, it is the richest prize in golf. It is the Players' Championship. Man, I don't know why my colors on my monitor are all of a sudden so washed EA out. Sports and the PGA Tour uh -huh. proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. For over four decades, this has been the home of the PGA Tour and the site of its flagship event as we bring you opening round coverage of the players. This promises to be a fun four days, a lot of storylines to get to as we check out the early leaderboard. We've currently got a tie at the top at five under par. Meanwhile, our featured golfer, we're going to get off to a hot start and maybe make an early move up the AM leaderboard. Yeah, I do not know. Well, you guys don't have to deal with it, but for some reason on OBS, everything looks perfectly normal, and on mine, there's like this pink overlay it, from what it looks like. It's so weird. Alright, four to seven miles per hour. Since we're trying to win this one, we're going to try and play it very professionally. Yeah, you've got to hit a lot of fairways here at Chawgrass if you want to win a player's championship. And this one in the fairway to get the tournament underway. I just turned my monitor. Okay, I just turned it off and then back on and that worked. <laughs> I hate that shit. All right, we got our loft wedge here. Now, four to seven miles per hour going at 112 with the loft wedge. Wind into us. This should be perfect because it's going to land probably only around 80. Or not 80. Only around, you know, in the low hundreds because of the wind. And then spin back. Ah, it it was I did exactly it carried only 103 uh, that's a bit of a head turn but it went way to the right situation from that distance and you know, far from the best shot off well it was still really really long actually didn't roll back nearly as much as I thought it was going to Oops. all right you got 1.1 above barely up the hill you can see here it's breaking a good bit so we're going to go right there 
And it's 33. I think we're only going to go 36. And you know I'm not going to have it break that much. But the ooh, I overhit that. Oh, okay, never mind. I almost had it. You got the President's Cup going on right now, and as you saw from the main menu, there was no update to the game. It's the first President's Cup for this game, so you would think they would update it, but I think that kind of proves that they've stopped any and all support for the game. They just keep the servers up for multi multiplayer. Um, but, yeah. Sad to see EA give up on things so quickly. So, again, um, well, the cool thing is we can draw this thing like crazy with the power draw, with our stats. I think and we can draw it right now we're right on the left edge of that bunker so let's go right there I'm gonna work this up that left hand go. side okay that perfect is just a beautiful shot um but the I didn't get to watch any of day one I watched a little bit of day two of the uh, the Ryder Cup or the President's Cup, sorry. So 208, 177. We have... Let's see, our 203 is our 7 iron. That will be too long. Um, the uphill is negligible. The wind will get there. So we're looking at the 188, 8 iron. And we'll just hit this one full. But day one, um, US won everything. They got all five points. And I kept seeing things like, oh, well, it's already over after day one. And I was like, what are you talking about? Have you never played golf? Um, and then day two, you know, we lost all five. Cool. I felt like I pulled that. Right there in the eagle. Um, so it was tied five to five. So... And I saw, you know, Jim Furyk, he was saying, like, you know, it's it's not that our guys played bad. You know, they, they really didn't. It was just the other team played better. And when it comes to golf, you know, that's something where if your opponent, you know, is, is playing just, you know, that much better, just a little bit, you really can't come back, you know. All right, so... The 9-iron is obviously not enough. At 171, we need to get to 193, which means we probably have to land at at least 185. Um, and with 4 to 7 mile an hour winds, that's not enough. So we'll go down to the 8 and just let this ride. Stayed out there to the right. I guess, I, yeah, I pushed it a little bit. Okay, Still on. Aboard. Down on All right, it's going to the right, to the left in the beginning, and then a, just, and if just a tickle to the left, or to the right at the end. Gift, this is the putt. Little uphill. uphill and dead straight. It's not dead straight. What? Why would you not let me see? Really? Cool, so that's useless. Nice. Can't look at the ground view. It was dead straight. That left turn, I guess, was just non-existent. So both the grid and the lie angle was a complete lie. That's nice. But um, and day three right now, they're they're all tied. Only Scheffler, Morikawa, Scott, and what is his name? Pendrith. Uh, they have completed the first hole tied with pars, I believe. Uh, now you got... I can't even remember. Alright, so what do we got here? 332 to reach the water right there. We could go super far to the 372. But that would be very, very risky. And I don't... I'm not risky for the bisky right now, you know. We're trying to win this thing. 
good smart play right here. If you're not positive you can clear it, you, you can't take on that water. And this will be just a short wedge. So we got there. 97 to the pin. And it's a little bit uphill. We, this is as far, this is as little as we can go. I really think it's kind of a mistake to not have somewhat of a finesse. Uh, it seems weird. Now the pitch, it's an 81 yard pitch. The green is going all left. So I think it's safe for us to aim over here and let it just run. We just have to hit it full. Just like that. And, oh, it just ran. Just ran a little bit too far. So really, I mean, there was no keeping that on for me besides using the wedge, unfortunately. Which, again, is something that I don't really agree with. As you can see, it was running up a hill. I hit a little pitch with a pitching wedge. It really shouldn't have ran 20-something yards, you know? All right, so this is going all to the right and slightly down the hill. Um, so we're going to put it about right there. It's not going that downhill, but... Oh, my God, that was such a good putt. Mm. If I just hadn't have hit it as it was downhill, it would have went in. An eagle and the rest pars. Oh, not a bad, not a bad start. But you know, Kirk up there at minus six, we gotta start making a little bit of a move. And we've had two, one on the first hole, and that one where the putts have just... That really has to be left is hanging. The ideal tee shot, little left or right. Perfect. We've already seen some narrow wind. But I do have like for me it's So it was me and my dad we played in a this is second. A two day tournament Saturday and Sunday last week. Player has to continue and It was a, what's it called? Better ball? This is, is that what it's called? How did this go so far? Has gotten a lot of oh, it was only, it only went 128. Okay. I don't know why I thought it was going to go a lot shorter than that. With this one. It's for birdie. So it's a little bit downhill. It's not going to the left too much. And, you know, they have the handicap thing. And with mine being a 2.5 right now. You know, because my average is my average is six to seven over, but I've been doing like, but I've been hit, shooting three and four over the past like three or four times I've played. So, you know, I feel like I was playing really well. My putting has been really good, except for like things have just not. They've been you know centimeters off or just a touch short stuff like that the reads have been great the even the pace has been really well except for just a few putts they just just have not dropped for me um, and so you know my dad doesn't have a handicap but if he did it would be you know something like 18 well no oh damn I did not think it was going to go this far. Why did I think that? I don't know. Uh, it, it would probably have a 15 handicap, actually, based on how handicaps are. Um, man, so this... I have to land it short with only having this pitch. This is... Yeah. Nope. What? I'm in the rough. Certainly had enough power. How did that land that five out. yards past the pin? What? I don't understand that at all. I'm putting this just because I feel like it'd be easier for me to get it close. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <sighs> How do you read something so perfect on that long of a putt? I don't know. And still have it be short.
Paul here at Sawgrass. Frank, a bit uncomfortable off the tee. It is. It reminds me a little bit of the opening hole, much longer version, where when you stand on the tee and look at the green, it's a straightaway hole. But that fairway goes to the left and it comes back to the right. But they're all optical illusions. Stupid Hulu, like, froze and I had to redo everything. Is that Shoffley and Finau on and day? Is that his point? I don't know. I don't even know. It froze. So I have no idea. But anyway, um, with his handicap, my dad's handicap, you know, that would have really helped us no matter what. You know, because he would be getting strokes on, you know, all but like four holes. Four or five holes. Um, and because I get, I only get one stroke, and that's on the hardest hole. So... Let's hit this one uh, a little low. I think the wind might take this down too much. Yeah. That, that's that's what I thought it was going to do. Need another club. Need another club. Why'd I pitch that? Ooh. Shot off dead right. Yep, well done. That's in for All right. At seven. Come on, let's try to get it to four. Right <laughs> the front nine. I mean, we got an eagle. <laughs> got an eagle and can't do anything. But anyway, it, man, these two rounds are tough for me to talk about, and uh, so the first round, uh, and, and by the way, I'm not expecting to win, I'm not even expecting to get anywhere near the, the lead, because we're only using my handicap, and my dad's basically playing off of scratch. Again, didn't mean to hit that so fast. The, the backswing is so fast for some reason sometimes. Don't know why. Um, and meanwhile, you know, so many other teams have, you know, eight shots that they get, you know, like both teams that we played day one and day two was eight and seven was the most somebody got. Well, meanwhile, my dad got none, I got one, you know, so... Now there's two different. Um, oh, it was too hard. It was just too hard. There are two different um, categories that they go with, and that's one with handicaps and one as just your overall score. That one, I was like, okay, you know, we could get, we could do something there. We're not going to get first because I feel like it's going to be a couple under that's going to be first, but we can get close to level par, especially with how good I've been playing and as long as Dad is, you know, on those those holes that I'm not, uh, don't, don't want the power drive. You know, we can we can really do something. And we tee off. On the first round, our first hole is the 18th hole, par 5, all that. And I had a really bad drive, but it doesn't really matter because um, 254 to that right there. We can go high. Oh, we can't go that high. Oh, it's a power approach. No, I don't need that. I don't need a power approach. We still can't go that high. What? Why can't I go that high with a four iron? That's so weird. But see, right there, my backswing was so normal. But with the tee shot, it was so fast. Now, this is a really bad shot for me because we don't have the pick. Um, and that's how high we can hit it, so... That's actually that's honestly as good as you could do without okay, holding it from yeah. from my area without a pick birdie. shot. This would be a good way to finish off the front side. Yeah, we we really need it. 
Okay. Um, but my dad gets a good drive. He has a good second shot. He's got a... Does he have a birdie putt? I think. It's going to be tough for me to remember some of them. But anyway, I start off awful. Like, I... Um... I thin my third shot because I had to lay up on my second because I was in the rough. I thin my third shot, okay, over the green. Not really duff the chip, but didn't hit a good one. Doesn't get on the green, and it it, it was just awful. Ended up with like a double on the par five. Dad ended up with a bogey, um, which for him, you know, not bad. He, he'll take that. Um, but you know, it's, he still didn't want that. You know, he wanted a par, especially doing a, going to tournament. Um, wow, that just stayed to the right. Lynn didn't really bring it in left at all. Um, and I was like, okay, you know, that's you know, first hole, maybe first hole jitters, something like that. I was just off a little bit because I've been hitting everything really well. What a putt. Okay, well done. A couple of birdies here sandwiched around the turn at 9 and 10. Go to, gonna move to four you know, the rest of the round. Just one shot off the top so this five. first round for me, it was... Par five. Frank players in it wasn't motion. great, but it just wasn't like... There. It was horrendous for me, really but it was just not a good a round overall, you know? Um, I cannot tell. I know this tree right here is that big ass one there, so I should be okay to aim it right here, I think, and not be in that bunker. As long as it doesn't go left and went right, so. Yeah, okay. Um, I didn't make any putts really that weren't, you know, five or six feet. Um,. You know, I got on a lot of greens for birdie, but didn't make anything. I, th I think I three-putted two, three times, which is insane for me. I don't think the 188 really gets all the way back there, but this is way too much. I think it's still too much, so... Trying to take a little bit off. That fast 2.5 didn't help. Trying to take off of it. That's going to be another horrendous shot without without the uh, pick. Without the tooth pick. And I think because, you know, it's you play your ball and you, it's just the best uh, score of the hole. Oh. I got to make a good putt. Score of the okay. hole. Good out, and that's what um, will remain for birdie. This from about ten feet. You know, with combining both of our scores and you know doing the best ones. Uh, it said one point four. I just didn't trust it because the last time I trusted all that stuff, then and it, it was dead straight putt. You know, last time didn't trust it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I was pulling my every shot just a little bit, you know, to where it was like 20, 30 feet versus it would have been, you know, 10 feet. Uh, again, don't need a power drive. We'll hit it high so that it stops. Wow, it went left. Um, but our combined was only like three or four over. You know, it, it wasn't horrible, but, you know, the individual score for me, I was in like, I think I shot like an 80, 1, 83, something like that. For me, that's, especially recently, that's really bad. Um... 
just so far right. Good guy. That's nine foot right of the hole, and I aimed it five foot left. That's 15 foot. 15 feet that it moved to the right. That's insane. Um. Oh, we made the putt. And so we, we go to the second day, and normally after a day like that, you know, my mindset is always very negative. But this year I've really, really gotten better at that. You know, at, at taking the bad shots out for the next hole and just refocusing. I've gotten really good at that this year. I don't say really good, but a lot better. Um, Alright, so that's gonna go. Just be a little cautious on the tee. Take this one high, go all the way back to the 183. Again, fast 2.3, so it's okay. Nope, that works. That works. Um, and so coming into that second round, I was actually feeling good. I was like, okay, you know what, we can do this. Bounce back. Let's let's shoot my best round here, you know. Let's go with a com let's shoot under par combined. You know, I was ready for it. So I hit the range a little bit, um, and was feeling really good. You know, I was hitting some of my irons really good. Hit the driver really good, and you know, we went off off 15. And I had basically the same drive I had on one, on 18 the day before. I was like, that's fine. My first drive is normally not very good. Um, it was still very much in play, not in a horrible spot. But it was almost the same thing where my next two shots were thinned. And I ended up with the same score on 15 as I did on 18 the previous day. Except one worse because it's only a par four. <laughs> so I tripled it. And I'm like, I'm like, what's good? At this point, I'm just going, what, what's going on here? You know? I've never started, I don't think I've started this bad ever. Especially back to back days. Wow, that came back none because that wind was helping. In regulation, but a Sucks. I think this is going to be this, pretty straight. Another birdie. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close oh, to wow. the hole, he's left I didn't hit it. That's insane. Finish. It was. It was dead straight. I just didn't hit it. Mm, that's a good um, a little more and I was just... Well, she's there. Didn't know what was going on. My dad bogeyed the hole, so that was fine. Especially... Um, considering the hole... A very difficult a hole. Of holes um, that difficult. 14th now why is yard par for 15th again demanding and this tee shot? You have to be on your game. As simple as that. Why is it playing day one and two of the present? I don't understand. Is it too early? I don't know. Anyway, um, 341 to, yeah, let's hit a little bit of a, a cut, take some of this yardage off. Oh, sit, 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 sit. All right, first cut's fine. Didn't quite allow for that but um take the ball completely across the fairway into the first cut. yeah I, ha I did not know what was going on and 16 is you know my favorite part three and I'm like all right regroup Just regroup that's too far left it went way for the left that I was thinking don't go in the bunker okay <laughs> I was like, these pins are, are like my worst enemy right now. If, if you go in the bunker or in the rough. I didn't mean to hit it that hard. Damn it. And that, not really the best of chips right there. Yeah, I was I know. expecting something sort of tap in range. But, uh, Me that too. That's what I was hoping. Oh. Yeah, good I was close. Um, I, I actually hit a really good 
tee shot there. It was unfortunately it was just right there in the middle. Um, of the green, the pin was in the back. Needed another club, but the pin looked like it was in the middle. Uh, Thirty to that. Let's go right here. Do that. Um, two putt par. So not you know I'm not disappointed with that hole whatsoever. I was still reeling from that first hole from 15 you know how can you not you know after a triple bogey um, 162 is all we need to carry we're gonna aim it a good bit over here because our lie is going to the right wind is going to the right um, it's at 174 we're gonna go with the 166 yeah because I knew I was gonna hit it over swing and fast yeah, great shot. It's for an eagle. Um, can we go to 17. I don't think anything crazy happened there. Then we go to 18. And two eagles on, on here. On two and 16. And 18 is where I thought it was going to really turn around. I hit a great drive. Well... It was a great drive. It wasn't struck great. It was struck kind of high on the face, but it was dead straight and longer than most of my drives. You know, I only had 190 to the middle of the green. So I took a four hybrid just in case, you know, because I know I hit them thin, especially from this little downhill lie I had. You know, I knew I was going to hit it thin. So I was like, let me take a four hybrid and not the not the five iron. Ah, that was 2.6 underswing. Okay, it was fast 2.5, so it kind of evened it out. Um, and I did hit it thin a little bit, and it got over the water. That's all I wanted, and it went in the bunker. I'm like, okay, you know, yesterday. I hit on no, it was, t it was that day. I already had a bunker shot. I hit it thin over the green. And I only had 10 yards. I only had a 10 yard shot this time. Last one was like a 40 yard bunker shot. You know, so it was, it was a tough one. You know, there, so there's not like a crazy thing of, oh, well. You know, in my head, I should have put that within 10 feet. It was a very tough bunker shot. It was around 30 to 40 yards. You know, first hole of the day. The sand was compact, compacted down because of it had rained a good bit the day before, or the night, the night of actually. Um, so it was a tough bunker shot. Still shouldn't have thinned it over the green, but yeah. Oh well. Um, and this one. Just, I mean, chunked it. This Barely got good. it out. And so instead of what should be, you know, a very easy birdie, I end up bogeying the hole. And, oh, that just broke a little bit more than I thought. And after that, I kind of, I don't want to say gave up. I tried to never do that, but I realized, you know, this weekend, I need to step back and think about some stuff. Because... All right, let's check this. Six to nine miles per hour. Okay, that's all I want to know is the wind. Um, you know, even though both 15 and 18 were, for me, horrendous holes, especially for what positions I was in, that wasn't the worst to come out of that day. After this, you know, so hole, hole one, 
Perfect drive. I have 135, it's dead up the hill, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to take most of a pitching wedge. You know, because my pitching wedge is like 145 to 150 on a good day. And... I've done something I haven't done in like 10 years. I just completely shanked it right into OB. This is where and is so important. Second shot I decide just to hit another one from where I am because because of the way the tournament is, you you can just you know drop it from your closest point of entry when it's OB just to keep things moving, you know. Um, six to nine miles per hour. I'm hoping this lets it sit. Oh, it's too. It's that too much. Okay. Um, need a little bit more than that. Okay. Um, and so I'm just like, I need to hit this again. You know, I haven't done that in so long. I'm in disarray from the first, from two of the holes, you know. Uh, okay. I was like, did I hit that too hard? But then I hit it slow. I just didn't put enough to the left. And do it again. Not as bad. Okay, you know, this one wasn't OB, but at where I was and where Dad was, he had like a four-foot putt for par. Um, I just picked up because at that point, you know, he Dad would have to four-putt in order for my ball to matter at that point because I was still off the green by 30 yards for, what, my sixth shot or something? I can't remember. For these guys, nothing more than a three or four would. And that's why all you need off the tee is just a three wood with a little draw. You disappointed if you don't make four here? Not disappointed. I made three last time, so let's see. On the field. I asked to draw it draw him way too much. Yep. Hit the trees in the heavy. Damn it. So that ball nestles down in the rough. Just oh, that's what can happen. Alright, so what ball. do we got here? Our forearm with our hack, because it is golden. It's a golden hack. We can go two fifty. We don't need all that. Um, 230. I need, I honestly, it's 100%. I'm going to hit it a little short. I didn't. <laughs> the swing is so fast. I tried to hit it just short because I know it's going to run a mile with the hack shot. Back into the fairway. That was the job at um, what's our, you know what, we'll just hit a flop. Flop from here. I feel like that was the safest thing because the pitch is going to run way too far. It's going to be too hard to hit it short. And the chip, I'm not 100% sure um, how much it was going to run off the upslope and all that. So. Flop was a safe bet. Um, and so, you know, hole two. Again, perfect drive. I think I par that one. Third hole, par three, short par three. I'm way left. It's a nine, so we can just hit the six to nine, so aim it right there. Ah, come on. Fourth hole. Um, I hit a decent shot. Decent tee shot, good second shot. I think I wind up with a par on that one. Then hole five. Hole five is all good, but again, it's like I think I'm pretty sure I bogeyed it when I was in my normal position, you know, and I, I birdie it from that position all the time and end up bogeying it. Next hole's Frank, next hole I three putt. Off the tee here. Hole well, we six. Positional tee shot at one and two. This is another one here at four. So much and then hole seven. Five, 16, 17, and 18. It's another four bogey, I think. Just, but it's a fun one. You know, I, I yeah, could not. Couldn't stop bogeying. when that flags on the on the left, so you really do start looking at that blue stuff, uh, water. Hole eight. 
it's 188 yards. And I need very smart layup. Don't need a simple little wedge shot into this fourth green. So after the big drive, this a short approach to the par four. Is it 180? I think it's 180. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going with seven iron. Um. The pitch last time ran a mile, but I know it's up the hill. Yeah, well, it'll land up the hill right there. And it's another one, just a, a cold, hard shank. And the trees are so close to the tee box, it hits them, and it, so it only goes 10 yards. And so my only option, you know, if I want to even try to get it to the green, is a humongous, you know, cut. And I can't really cut my irons, so... I just hit dead straight OB. You know, it's, and that's the same thing. I pick up. I can't even. You know, my shot doesn't matter anymore. And what sucks is Dad went OB too on his first shot. So we end up with a double on that hole. Hole nine. You know, at that point, my left arm was. It had like weird tingles well, because I was I was just so off pissed off and it is fine now. just felt so bad about how I was playing that I knew I was like something you know my this shot's gonna be not good it's not gonna be good and just got right up under the ball it was three wood teeing off with on hole nine got way up under the ball and. Dead left. That's a decent size green. Into OB. Just a little past the hole. We turn to Notabegay the third for this look. <laughs> you know. <at> birdie. <laughs> and this is a nice smooth hole uh, to lefter. This is the go zone. I just talk. I don't know. Talking about it makes me really mad too. Oh wow. I broke a ton. I think he knew it right when it left the putter face. Didn't get that far enough out to the right. Okay. Um, the rest of that hole was crap, but anyway. What was it? Then we have 10. Same thing, I was left on that one. Like 11, I played really well. Still didn't birdie it. Par 5, just parred it. 12, played really well. Parred that one. It's like, I had three, three or four just shanks in one round. One round, I had that. You know, I shot a 91. I have not shot that bad. I have not shot that bad. I swear to you, in 15 years or more. Since I was 15, I don't think I've shot that bad. God damn. I just find it so... Like, that ran 20 yards. I find it so strange that your pitch shots with a pitching wedge run so far. And at Sawgrass, you know, where it's... It's in Florida. It's humid. With all the elements of his game have been in sync today, a terrific shot right there. It's all about getting it inside that three-foot circle around. You know, the, and this weekend is so rainy. I'm Monday. I I have off Monday, so I I may go and work on my game. I might go and walk 18. But really, you want to play that tee shot just Oh, the President's Cup isn't even on anymore. There we go. 
It just started. Okay. So it left whatever channel it was on and then started on a different one. But right now the news is still on. Whatever. Um, and it's just one of those things where it's like I know because it's not. It's not like I was trending in that direction. Wow, that's the first drive that really, really was bad, and I, was with and I don't know why. Way and it's gonna wind up popping into the bunker. Anything on the green would be a good result. One thirty. Ready's his second out of the sand. Okay, an eighty-nine and ninety-four live with the wind being what it is. Hmm. Go one forty and bring it back. I think because the wind's into us. I did not mean to go over one percent. <laughs> oh, that seems like a tiny bunker here left of the green. Oh man. I imagine he's seen enough of the sand here. Now his third. This is impossible. I have to like land this right here. Ah, oh, I hit it too hard. I couldn't land it on the green. If I land on the green, that's yeah, that's as good as I'm doing. It was very difficult to get that to stop, even out of the sand, and that race is right on by. All right, <laughs> keeping the bogeys off the car. Um, but yeah, you know, I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't trending in that direction. I've been playing really, really well. Um, I don't know what it was. I really don't. It's just golf, I guess. Alright. Where you, you go back out and... Oh wow, that was really short. Slow 2.2 percent. Not on the green, but not a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. I uh, I'm gonna go back out. Hopefully Monday, if it's not, you know, the weather's not bad. And just play, you know. Try and not think about it. Oh, there, there's our bogey. <laughs> Easy putt, it just, and it broke. It breaks way more than I thought. Oh, there's a fog delay, that's why it's not on. Okay. There's been a fog delay for 40 minutes. Just depends on how much you want to risk here. If you hit a good drive down the right side, I was wondering. I was like, "What the hell is two, going on?" It's not showing anything. Absolute miss here at nine. I decided to risk the power drive. Went for it. Try and get as close as we can. You know. It's two thirty-eight. Let's hit it high because the wind. Man, do we get over that tree? We do if we do this. Ooh, maybe not. No, we don't. Wow. That's what he wanted to do. After the not what I wanted to do. I, did, I hit the tree. Here on the I didn't want to hit it. Chance to close out the front side here with a birdie. We got back the bogey. It's a two under front, not good. We were three. I think we were only three last time. But. Right now onto the tenth at Sawgrass. A fairly straight par four, but uh, that's not the way to play it. You really want to go to the right, well away from the fairway bunker that runs all the way down the left side. That turns it into a little bit of a dog leg left. Then you're going to come across. And man, if the wind was helping, into a green that, uh, I think we go power drive and try to cut the corner, flat. but. One does not help me. For a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend, and that another good drive here. 165 went into us, so let's just hit this full nine. Uh, 
Yeah, that slow 1.3 really and hurt, and I pushed it as well. It's the main thing, but from that distance, you really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five footer. So this first putt's going to have to be good. Matt, that's going to wander off to the right and leave maybe two, three feet coming back. So that means four putt to start this back side. I have another tournament. Um, now the time to be aggressive. Some plan in October. It's 19th and 20th. Is that? What's the key here? Or it might be. And let it fly. This is the big chance here. This is one of the widest fairways on the golf course. This is where you chance it. Yeah, 19th, 20th. Ooh. Damn it, that wind really took it left, and that's really bad. Trouble here for our leader. That is into the bunker off the tee. Like, I don't know. Getting out more important than distance here as he readies his second. It's, I think it's going to hit this lip. Yeah. <laughs> little too casual with the yeah, second what? shot out of the fairway bunker on the Dude, power what? five. That had to find the fairway. Instead, this hole is just getting a little more difficult. Mm. Yes, it is. Wow, that carried a lot further than I thought. Well, that, we're, work again, I was going for an eagle. It, it'll wind up coming to rest just <laughs> that really, me. really hurt me. That that tee shot. Oh wow. The speed was really good, but that was a weird one. That one finished off. It's in the bar. And he'll remain right where he is. On now to the 12th. It's a par four at a mere 369 yards. And with a number like that, it means for many players, this is drivable. But before taking the head cover off the driver, consider there's water left, hot bunkers right, and the gentle slope and it just in front of the green dead right. to the left that can guide any missile with the guardrails into the pond. Good chance to get one in close from oh, the here. flop just this isn't long is enough. Second. And it's going straight up a hill with the pitch. So you would think, like, right there. Three, well, 3.2 underswing doesn't help, I guess. And that's going to leave some work, but it'll end up okay. 12 feet still to go. Man. I struggled to birdie it last time, but I had a much, I think I had a much easier putt. Okay, birdie it this time too. Yes, on the pace to get up that slope, it is in for a birdie. And he's opened up a two-shot lead here in round two. Pull number 13 here at Sawgrass, tricky 181-yard par three. You don't have to hit directly Wasn't tricky last side. time, we when had almost a tap in you can for use a birdie. Tools. When it's on the lip, once again, you can use the ridge in the middle of the green. Matter of fact, one of the hardest hole locations is when it's in the front right, because that's when you have Let's to go with the perfect. nine. Again, the wind's going to help. It's slightly downhill, so. Oh god, I did not mean to overswing at one point six. Yep. Yeah, that one. It was just so fast. For on, some reason. Long look coming up. We welcome in. Shouldn't your swing be slower if you take off of a shot? Like, Rich, you know, I've been in there, what are you doing, game? One, I'm not seeing a lot in it. Up the slope, not a great deal of break. Confident roll required. Ah. A little harder, mean. maybe, would have went in. Yeah, they can't all go in. Okay, safely into par here at 13. But you know what I mean, like... I went down to a 9 and then backed all the way down. It was like a 172, backed all the way down to a 165. Shouldn't your swing be a little bit slower? Makes sense to me. Like, 
Doesn't make sense. That oh, it was a power drive. Okay, I was gonna say that one was so fast. Why was well, it a power drive? Cut, we know you can't spin the ball as much from the first cut. Still lying okay. Uh, I do not. I don't want to hit uh, 112. Yeah, kind of lie. The lie is almost too good. This one looks right on point. So is that shot. Almost too good. 11 inches. Easy does it there. It's a birdie at 14, and he draws three shots clear on this Friday. Just before we get to what they call the gauntlet, 16, 17, and 18, 15 requires all of your attention, doesn't it, Frank? Personally, I think this is the prettiest hole on the golf course, Rich. I've actually often gone back there and taken pictures. Uh, just a gentle dog leg to the right. Uh, you come out of the chute. Seems to be a generous fairway. You just get a little view of the bunker down the right side, but virtually there's no lip there, so that's not a concern. The green, uh, all sorts of weird and wonderful waves on it. Um, well protected by a big bunker on the left, and there's two little pop bunkers out in the right that uh, if you first time around, you might notice. <laughs> Probably gonna come back too far. Oh yeah, the wind just wow, the wind held that up. I don't know what I was thinking. And a good approach shot, just trying to hit it high like that. Like, but still solid. Don't know oh, what I was thinking. To cozy it in that three foot circle. This for birdie. Oh, I tell you what, this game will drive you Need a touch more to the right. The entire way, but the lip had other ideas. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th, and he's going to stay too clear of the field. Frank, I think one of the things that fans love about this gauntlet, 16, 17, and 18, each hole has that sort of hold your breath moment. Certainly 17, we know, and that ball's in the air. You're holding your breath. Is it wet or dry? 16, same on that second shot. You're holding your breath wondering, where is it? Right in the water or left with a chance for three? That's why you don't want to get too sloppy on that tee shot. A lot of people look at 16 because there's a wide oh, fairway yeah. and they think just get it down there. But the extra 10 or 15 Did yards not is a ridge down that left side. If you catch that, the ball will kick good right. 20 yards further forward. All right, pin in the back. That's too close. just fine I'm for that pin position, honestly, right here. Than a two iron. Hack with the pitching wedge. It should carry over. Yep. Hits. Wow, okay, never mind. <laughs> I really thought that was going to run, being a hack shot and all. Exactly, Rich. No time to celebrate right now. Grind on that first putt. Get it inside that magic circle. Oh, I didn't hit it. What a pathetic putt. This long, so hard to gauge the speed. That's maybe about what you'd expect. See if you can get this one to drop here at the 16th for a birdie. Okay. Uh, Still got our birdie. That is down for a birdie here at 16. And he's got it to 14 under par. And we are finally here at the famed island hole at TPC Sawgrass. 137 yards, par 3, the 17th hole. Club selection critical. And nerves of steel are required. Just a little bit less. That's safely aboard. Now this for another birdie. Yeah, there's not a lot in this overall. I've had a look and concluded there's not much to it. Slightly down the hill, no real movement. Oh, just a little bit more okay. on the left That's side. Still gonna be a good four feet though coming back. Yeah, that's good plan. It is in for par here at 17. And he's going to hold on to that three-shot lead. Now to the 462-yard par four 18th hole here at TPC Sawgrass. And very simply, this is one of the hardest and most visually intimidating tee shots in the game. That's why you see a lot of players bail out to the right. Oh, look out. This is cutting it close. I was going to say, not me. It went left. 
Didn't want it to. A strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend, and that another good drive here. Ah, underswung, but it was fast, so it evened it out. Good shot. Ah, it's a good shot, but does leave that little uphill putt, so that one will be slow. Sizable putt from 16 feet. Yeah. Six under, second round. Had our first bogey on number eight. Super round. This one, a 66. It's the minus 15. We're in the lead by four. It is our featured golfer who's on. Are they doing anything for the President's Cup in this? Maybe it updated and it just didn't. No. I don't think so. I don't know where they're playing this week, but I don't think it's here. Um, but anyway, that's going to end it for this one. Tomorrow we'll be doing rounds three and four. Let's hope we can get the win. It'll be the final day of the President's Cup, so we can go over, I guess, day three um, once the delay is over. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day, and I'll see you. Bye.